Well, the handy dandy co-pilot. Not me. The app co-pilot. Make that clear, it was not her. Took us down a wrong road. Now Michelle had the regular GPS through Google taking us another way, but you know how Copilot is set to take you routes based on your measurements of your RV and everything. So we figured, well, Copilot must know we're not supposed to go that other way because there must be a low bridge or something that we're not supposed to be going down. So we trusted Copilot, and this is what we get. Of course, we couldn't see this when we entered this road and there was nowhere to turn around. So this nice gentleman coming up here is going to check and see if the gate is unlocked around there and he said we can go on around. He said it's hard enough for us. We'll see. We'll see. Nope. So we ended up having to take the car off of the dolly and take the dolly off so that we could back Vinny up and get turned around. So a lesson learned there, not to trust Copilot. Since then, we had one other incident where Copilot tried to take us down the wrong road. Within a three week period, twice. So the first couple days, we decided in the evening, go down to the Pismo State Beach area. Walk on the beach, watch the people drive their vehicles on the beach, and catch a sunset. Take a look. Getting a shot of the marine layer. Almost looks like flat mountains on the horizon. So that was the first night, and the second night, our neighbor lady and good friend, Lisa, recommended a place called Splash Cafe. She said it had really good clam chowder and a bread bowl. After we ate, we took a walk down to the Pismo Beach Pier. The next few days, we just hung around close before the weekend came and uh, there was some really cool natural preserve sand dunes in the area. So got some nice uh, shots of that, some drone footage and uh, it was a really beautiful area. Next to the Farmer's Market in San Luis Obispo. By the way, apparently they don't like it when people call it San Luis Obispo. They go by slow. S-L-O. <laughs> cinnamon roll even though we're trying to eat healthy she's been talking about these cinnamon rolls and <laughs> I'm kind of taking it as a hint that she really wants one really bad holy cow look at the size of that 
first Saturday at Pismo Beach, we took off and went on an unplanned adventure and found a local RV resort that was having a vintage RV show. We had to leave early that day because heavy rain was on the way. I do apologize for the camera. We were having some technical difficulties. This is just one of those mornings that we had no plans. We just thought we would get up and wing it. Yeah, the weekends are really busy here. That's really cool. It looks kind of like they redid the whole thing. This thing's pretty cool. Really, five years. Okay. So it's okay. really not. I don't think it's going to go much farther, except for when the wind's blowing. This is pretty nice. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Glass door on the right at the end of the hall. <laughs> the saloon door? Oh. Yeah, you gotta, it's not I a, thought you meant the restroom. It is. <laughs> oh. Ah, this is a, this is so cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll trade with you. So we would stabilize it and keep it so Absolutely, <laughs> darling. Yeah. Love the detail work. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, yes, yeah, it's beautiful. It's so great. A little, little different than most. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yeah, we're gonna. That is shiny. We're scared of the rain, so we're leaving. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna pull up a little bit to drain the tank. Oh wow. That's our Tobias, little 1946 Dodge with a 1954 trailer. My husband probably restored it. I like your outfit as well. So cute. How long did it take to? Yeah. You come with the truck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The tanks are even pink. Yeah. You found a pink one? It was a dragonfly. Pretty cool. My grandma's when she would come visit us. Uh -huh. This is cute. It's like a little dollhouse. It does. You should come in. Look at this quilt. This is cute. Stove. It's gorgeous. So, this is their stuff. What size are these guys? This is actually pretty nice, yeah, you know, room-wise. Got a whole separate kitchen there. Kind of a pleasant surprise today. We had no idea that this yeah. was going on today.
Yeah. Unfortunately, well, <laughs> there's heavy rain heading this way, so I think we're going to have to yeah. end this little tour sooner than we hoped. Bummer. We were taking a drive going to one place, and we found this little park called Dinosaur Caves Park. It's really cool. Yeah, very. Very pretty. Um, lots of flowers. So that pretty much sums up all we did in the Pismo Beach area. We do recommend visiting the area. They have a lot of RV parks and resorts in the area. Um, so there's plenty of places to stay. The area, it has a marine layer that uh, surrounds it. So the year round temps stay right around the 60 and 70 degree mark. So it's pretty nice weather year round. Also, I want to personally apologize for the shaky video footage. We bought a new camera and I didn't have the settings set correctly, so that's my bad. And also, don't forget the bloopers coming up here. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Let's go. Where did she, she go? go? You know what? I don't have a mic on here. So where are we going today? We don't know. We're just following this <laughs> line of people. It's always weird having a camera in your hand and people walking by you. Who's that? Yeah, I know. It's nobody in It's Madonna. Kids. Look. Don't Hi, Madonna. Me. You have anything to say today, Madonna? Uh, thought you were going incognito, didn't you? Yeah.